come from St. John, the 19th chapter, and the 28th verse. First, I want to thank my lovely wife, members. Especially my pastor, Johnson. Forgive me, forgive me another chance. It's always a, a great opportunity to stand before you to yeah. proclaim the gospel. Yeah. The 28th verse reads, After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. My, you may be seated. I'm simply going to speak on our thirst, uh, which, was, which was the fifth word of Jesus. It is near the end of Jesus' human life. He senses it. He has hung on the cross for six hours. Now it has become hard for Jesus to even get a breath. Hung from his arms, he must pull himself up. Each time he wants to breathe, his shoulders ache, his mouth is parched, he is exhausted, and yet he does not want to die without a final word. He asked for something to drink, to wet his lip, for a final effort, later knowing that all was now complete, and so that the scripture would be filled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. Yes, the thirst was prophesied in Psalm 69, 21, right. written by David, All right. a man like no other. Yeah. What was it like to watch Jesus' slow death? All right. Perhaps it was impressive to the soldiers with something like Peter's word. He committed no sin, and deceit was found in his mouth. When they heard of their insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. Let's come from 1 Peter 7, 22, 23. Peter concluded this message with something high up that the soldiers did not yet know. Echoing the word of the suffering servant, Passes of Isaiah 53 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. What does the word I thirst tell us? Three things that the word tells us. First, Jesus' physical humanity. First and probably of greatest importance, Jesus' word, I thirst, remind us of Jesus' physical nature, right. his humanity. Yes, Jesus' fifth word, I thirst, remind us that Jesus died in the flesh for us yes, and for our sins. Right. Yes. Second, I thirst, remind us of Jesus' extensive knowledge mm -hmm. of the prophetic scripture concerning his suffering and his death and his willingness to fill each of them to the level. The third, Jesus said, I thirst to thin himself and ease his throat so that he might cry out his final word from the cross. With a loud voice, he was summoning himself to bring it all to completion. You and I could give Jesus a drink by sharing what we have to those in need. But Matthew 25, 34, 40 said, Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and it came to me. Then the righteous were bound to him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry 
and feed you, or thirst and give you drink? When do we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when do we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, and as much as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it unto me. Psalm 34, 8 and say, says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord.